Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories, brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. The trio accused of setting a Metro police officer's car on fire during a 2020 protest are now set to face up to five years behind bars. That's after pleading guilty on Friday. Review Journal's Jen Ah has more. Renee, we're talking about the Black Lives Matter protests that took place on May 31st, 2020. Here's video of the police car being set on fire at the time, parked about two blocks from downtown Container Park. The end result, these pictures you see here. The three men that pleaded guilty are among a slew of people who were arrested that summer, including a trio um, accused of sending Molotov cocktails fired at police the night before. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, 23-year-old Tyree Walker and Devarian Haynes, along with 24-year-old Ricardo Densmore, each pleaded guilty to civil disorder. That, quote, the defendants also admitted that they created a substantial risk of harm to others in the vicinity, knowing there was ammunition in the patrol vehicle that could have caused an explosion. They're scheduled for sentencing in the next few months. Renee? A man was arrested Saturday after stabbing and killing another man on a strip pedestrian bridge. Police were called to a bridge at Las Vegas Boulevard and Tropicana Avenue where they found a man who had been stabbed. 58-year-old Freddie Allen was found nearby holding a knife. Allen is set to appear in court later today. And Friday, Metro Police responded to what they're calling a targeted attempted robbery in the Southwest Valley. The shooting occurred at a home on Bright Nimbus Avenue near South Torrey Pines Drive and West Robindale Road, where police say there was an exchange of gunfire. It appears that this is a very targeted robbery for the people who live in the house. The woman who is deceased, we know, exchanged gunfire inside the house with at least one of the other black males during the robbery attempt. Police say the people in the area should not be worried about their safety because this appeared to be a targeted incident. Now the family of Victor Lee Bordley remembers him as being really involved in athletics, a fun kid and a good little brother. But they say he fell in with the wrong people and that's what led to the 25 year old's death on March 18th at a park near his home in North Las Vegas. It's already eight o'clock. I say, where is my son? He didn't came home. We, yeah, we lost our son to the streets. Uh, and I noticed it as time went on. You know, he, um, especially once he got of age, uh, he, we, 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 we would go days not knowing where, we, where he was. As of Friday, no arrests have been made in Bordley's death, and police have not disclosed a possible motive or suspect description. Anyone with information is urged to contact North Las Vegas Police. Sports brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the mobile app today. NFL Executive Vice President of Club Business and League Events, Peter O'Reilly, spoke about what to expect at the NFL Draft when it comes to Las Vegas, April 28th through 30th during the NFL's annual meeting in Palm Beach, Florida. First, the fountains at Bellagio will serve as the draft staging area for events, including the red carpet portion of the draft on Thursday afternoon. Players will not arrive on boats to the main stage as originally planned. The NFL NFL Draft Experience will be open all three days of the draft and will be located behind the High Roller and Link next to Caesars Forum. Fans can watch the draft on a live first come first serve basis in the standing room only area near the draft theater. The NFL will also host three free concerts at the draft theater. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. In an all blue blood Final Four, Duke will face our rival North Carolina and Kansas will face Villanova in the NCAA tournament. Duke is a four and a half point favorite over the Tar Heels and the total is 151. The Blue Devils are now the plus 160 favorite to win the national title at the Westgate Super Bowl. Kansas is a four point favorite over Villanova and the total is 133. The Jayhawks are the plus 180 second choice to win the title. In your health news, what could be better than saving lives? That's what one Ukrainian woman in Las Vegas asked herself as she packaged about 1,100 tourniquets to send to the worn torn country where she still has family. Alana Burns, who has lived in Las Vegas since 2004, works with her 16-year-old to collect tourniquets. The plan is to fly to Warsaw, where she will give the suitcases to a friend who will finish the delivery. 
Burns encourages anyone wanting to donate supplies to Ukraine to check out their Facebook page, Ukraine's in Las Vegas. Now to today's weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Happy Monday, everyone. After a beautiful weekend, we're looking at not only a wind advisory today, but a slight chance of rain. 30% chance of rain before 2 p.m. and an 80% chance of rain by tonight. Wind gusts could also reach around 35 miles per hour by the afternoon. Highs today around 78 degrees, evening lows around 52 degrees. For the rest of the week, slight rain chances on Tuesday, but that will pass. Temps will stay in the mid to upper 70s for the rest of the week. We could see the 80s again by the start of your weekend. Now to your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, the Apex Industrial Park is going to soon see some new warehouses. The real estate investor behind the project told the Review Journal about plans for about 300 acres in Apex, which hasn't seen much development in the past. You know, there's just a lack of utility service out there, lack of roads, lack of infrastructure, um, but those have been uh, built lately, so you are seeing, you know, there's water pipeline, there's, there's more utility service out there, and you're starting to see more companies buy land and drop projects for Apex, which is really a pretty big break from the past. Apex is off Interstate 15 at U.S. Highway 93 in North Las Vegas. Thousands of acres are available for potential projects. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, Sammy Hager celebrates his new dates for his show at the Strat in Vegas fashion. Fans were able to catch the headliner at the Golden Tiki on Saturday for a shrunken head ceremony. His own likeness was unveiled alongside carrot tops. However, Hager's was lacking the sunglasses, a classic part of his look. Hager is returning to Cabo Wabo on July 1st and 2nd. Tickets go on sale April 4th. Now to your lifestyle news, Echo Trail Park is officially open and the community was invited out to celebrate. The new park was packed as families came out for the grand opening Saturday morning to enjoy some music and free food. Located at the corner of South Buffalo Drive and West Russell Road, the park is five acres with a splash pad, two playgrounds, trails and more. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerhour. If you have a Roku device, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.